That's who the Democratic Party is. You are disposable to them. So I have another story here for you guys. Uh, Fiorella Isabel from the Convo Couch tweeted this out. Breaking, Wisconsin state authorities are asking health workers to be poll workers since many have been decided have decided to not work and at Gov Evers, who is the governor of uh, of Wisconsin, Governor Tony Evers, is forcing the primaries to continue. And here is the ad asking for more poll workers to come in from the health from the health departments. And then she also tweets this out here. They're also targeting targeting restaurant workers, other professionals, and the National Guard. And here's the tweet that she's showing as evidence here. Yup, my husband got a similar email too, calling on state employees to do their civic duty and blank. Got something similar, except it was directed at restaurant workers slash bartenders. Honestly, we need to screenshot all these emails and put them put them in one post and share it everywhere. This is insane. And here's another article here that I want to share you guys. This was published on the New York Times. It's titled, I'm scared. Wisconsin election puts poll workers at risk of virus. The state plans to hold its election on Tuesday, thrusting thousands of clerks and poll workers, many of them older or with health conditions, onto the pandemic's front lines. And as we know, this virus is mainly targeting, well, if you're, if you're an older person, you're more prone to get infected with this virus. Angie Copas has high blood pressure and asthma. And her job as clerk of the village of Mattoon, Wisconsin, does not provide health insurance. For weeks, voters have streamed, streamed into her office to request or cast absentee ballots. And she has no protective equipment, sanitizer, or disinfective, disinfectant wipes. Next week, she'll be facing hundreds more voters in person for for Wisconsin's presidential primary and other elections. I'm scared, said Ms. Gopas, 43. On election day, we're exposed to them and everyone they come across. I'm the only person in the office and I will, and I run it all. So I just want to read this, this part here that I highlighted. As a result, poll workers have been dropping out by the thousands. As of Tuesday, roughly 7,000 had said they would not work. And 111 precincts did not have a single poll worker on schedule, meaning that many locations could be forced to close. In response, Governor Tony Evers, a Democrat, said on Wednesday that he would deploy National Guard troops to work at understaffing polling sites. Wisconsin law dictates that each site must have at least three election workers. Also, what is the, De the Democratic National Committee doing about this? It's clear that workers are being put in dangerous situations. As what the CDC says, and I'll pull it up over here for you guys. Here are their guidelines with how to protect yourself and others from the disease. Everyone should clean your hands often, obviously. Um, avoid close contact. Avoid close contact with people who are sick. Stay, stay home as much as possible. Put distance between yourself and other people. Remember that some people without symptoms may be able to spread the virus. Keeping distance from others is especially important for people who are at a higher risk of getting very sick. Stay home if you're sick. Cover coughs and sneezes. Of course, wear face masks and all and, and 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 the like. So if you're going out in these polling places where you're exposing yourself to so many people, because remember these lines to vote are hours long. Now imagine these lines that where people have to be six feet apart. Those lines are going to be even longer. 
people are going to be discouraged to go to vote. Regardless if they feel sick or not, they don't want to get sick. And there's some people that don't show symptoms that could be infected with it. And what does washing your hands do if you're already infected and you don't know it? You're still going to expose people if you have the disease. It doesn't matter how much you, how much you wash your hands. Washing your hands only would only work if you're not infected. And then you touch something and then you quickly wash your hands. But what good does that do? If you're infected and you're and you're still out there exposing everybody to stuff by touching things, or just um, or just bre or just uh, coughing and sneezing. So here's what the Democratic National Committee is doing. As states postpone their primary dates amid the coronavirus outbreak, the Democratic Party may be forced to grapple with its own delegate rules or risk penalizing states for trying to adhere to public safety guidelines. Under current party rules, the Democratic primaries are supposed to be over by June 9th. Any state that schedules their primary after, this, after that date could be stripped of half its delegates, ultimately risking its influence on the primary process. But as states try to adapt to new public health guidelines around the novel, around the novel virus, which advises people to stay in their homes for business and schools to shut down and limits the size of public gatherings to no more than 10 people. Again, limit, limit size of public gatherings to no more than 10 people. When you're out there in these polls, you're exposed to hundreds of people, probably even thousands of people. A growing number of states are delaying their in-person voting days. And what is the DNC doing about it? So this this article is published in uh, Politics here. They're not doing anything. They're still penalizing states. Why are they doing that? So I'll tell you why, why they're doing that. The DNC is the majority of people that are part of the DNC receive money from corporations. You can go and look at, go to opensecrets.gov or .org and you'll see who funds these people's campaigns. Pharmaceutical lobbyists, military industrial complex lobbyists, Wall Street, and Joe Biden is also a corporate Democrat. Bernie Sanders is running on ending this whole process of, of uh, corporate corporations funding politicians' campaigns. He wants to end that. He's going to tax the rich. So they're afraid of that. They're afraid they're not gonna they're gonna lose their jobs. And so out of fear of losing their jobs. Out of fear that they're going to stop getting funded by these greedy corporations, out of fear that they're not going to be rich anymore and have a future life as a lobbyist or whatever, they're doing everything they can. They're putting people's lives at risk. They're pretty much sacrificing people in order to save their careers. That's the Democratic Party. You are disposable to them. Thank you for watching this video. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment on this latest video. Hit on the notification bell for the latest on pop culture, progressive politics, and sports. See you later.